important as well is to do this for your previous technical sheets. So, for example, if I want to create a mushroom, that's a good well rectangle. And then I crown it. And then I will enter that at the end of the day in the main line for my axis, which is the map. So, when I go back out to the scene editor, I'm going to take a round angle. Safer example, I want to create the Michigan bus. This time, I'm actually going to start by drawing my boundary on the green line. And when I create my Michigan bus, I actually want to even create the capital. When I have my shape done, I'll return back to the scene editor, and you'll see that I have the Michigan bus. Now, the nice thing about the Linear Editor is its ability to create more organic shapes. So I'm going to go back to the lady editor with my Washington Bus Lake. I'm going to select these couple points here that can come around. I'm going to turn this into a wine glass instead of a Michigan Bus. So I'm going to select these points, turn it into a desert, a couple points, and then adjust it so that we get a little curve. Like a point out and lay the bindings. I also have an animated map. This might be an extreme, but if so, if you go back to the lay editor, you can animate the map. And when you go back there and start using the background, you can go ahead and animate your shape as well. Now, I'd like to point out a couple properties that the lay map has. Just like the lay editor, the properties of the map, you'll see that there's sweep angle and radius segments. If I use the slider to drop the radius segments down, you'll see that the number of That's going to do is cut the object in half, which this gives us a much more modeling opportunity to create even more inverse contours. Now you notice that this lay that is recommended you can actually see the MTI. If you want to fix that, you can select the lay, go back to the lay editor, select your point, and there's this cool shape that we can hit that with a draw line or closing angle. covers the execution editor and the lay editor. And as you can tell, they're pretty powerful tools that you can use to create more custom shapes and more organic shapes. So let's go ahead and continue on to the next tutorial.